Here are some questions where we are asked to uh, rationalize the denominator. Rationalize the denominator just means really to get rid of the radical sign on the bottom. So uh, I guess it's sort of like if you have a fraction like 2 over 4 and you want to simplify that, uh, you divide top and bottom by uh, 2 and simplify it to a half. So we're wanting to simplify this and what that means in terms of radicals is getting rid of radicals on the bottom. Now, if I just have, say, something like 2 over root 5, and I wanted to uh, rationalize that denominator, I could multiply it by root 5 on the bottom and the top. And so on the top, I'll get root 2 root 5. On the bottom, I get the square root of 25. And I multiplied it by this so that this would be perfect, uh, a perfect square number. And so the square root of 25 is just plain 5. Now there's no radical on the bottom. So what I multiply, I don't always have to multiply by exactly this number. I'm wanting to multiply by something so that it comes out perfect. Okay, so in this question here, I'm going to need to multiply top and bottom by something so that I can get rid of the radical on the bottom. So I've got the fourth root of t. This 4 means in order to get something out of the radical, I need to have four things inside. So for example, if I have the fourth root of uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, there's four twos. I can bring those out, and they would just this would simplify to just plain 2. But I need four things that are the same inside. So right now I have 1s and 1t. So if I can multiply this by the fourth root of something, so I get, uh, I get four s's in the bottom. Right now I have one, so I need three more s's. And same thing with t's, I'll need three more t's. And if I do that on the bottom, I've got to do that on the top. So I'm going to end up with a fourth root of s cubed t cubed on top. But on the bottom, I'm going to have the fourth root of uh, s times s cubed would be s to the fourth. And t times t cubed would be t to the fourth. Now there's four s's inside here, and so I can bring one s out. Yeah, there's four t's, I could bring, bring one t out. And if I bring all that stuff out, there's nothing underneath the square root sign anymore, so I just have an s t. And on the top, I have s cubed t cubed. Okay, hopefully that makes sense for that question. Now here's another question that's similar. Where have you got the cube root of this stuff? And it says rationalize the denominator. Well, first thing I could do is I could separate this. So I could call it cube root of 4 over the cube root of 5x5y2. OK, so cube root, again, this time I need three things that are the same inside. Uh, so I'm going to take this 5x5y2. Uh, sort of just what I have already, and I'm going to times it. I'll multiply it by cube root of something, and hopefully this is going to cancel stuff out on the bottom. Not hopefully, it has to. That's what I'm doing to rationalize the dominant. Right now I have one 5, and so if I multiply this by two more 5s, then I'd have three 5s all together. Now I have got x to the fifth, that's even more than the 3, but I have to get it so that I have groups of 3. So if I could get 6 x's, then I'd have two groups of 3 x's to take out. So if I multiply this just by an x, and then the y's already have 2, so I just need one more y. Okay, so let's see what that is going to do. So what I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So that's going to give me on the top... Let's just write what we have there. It'd be 4 times 5 times 5 times x times y all over. On the bottom, I'm going to have the cube root of, now there's three fives, one there and two more there. There's x to the 5 and one more, so that's 6. And y squared and y, that'd be 3. So on the bottom, um, Oh, I don't need the square root sign. 
or the cube root sign anymore. On the bottom, these three fives, because this is a cube root, they'll come out and just make one five outside the radical. X to the six, that's two groups of X cubed inside there. And so I can bring two X's out. And there's three Y's here, so when I bring them out, they make one. There. And then on the top, just figure out what 4 times 5, that's 20 times 5, that looks like, like to be 100. So it'd be the cube root of 100xy over 5x squared y. Hopefully that helps in uh, determining what you need to multiply a denominator by in order to get rid of uh, the radical on the bottom.